Here uh, we'll be uh, learning how to make support for a DWS system. What I have done is, you know, first I have taken this model, placed here, and then made the base. You know how to make the base. You know, I have used this tool, which comes with the DWS system, and then used this tool to make the base. Make sure this, the end point is clicked. And the support is right here, you know, on the one corner, so that, you know, when we fill the support, and the support is just filling up the entire rim, ring on the bottom. If you place it on the center, then it will just place half, then you have to do another half manually. So what I've done is I just placed this support on one corner, and then I'm going to array the support. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to array surface, select the object to array. This is the object that we are, we, uh, we are going to be arraying. Press enter. The base point, see, that's what I told you, you know, if you click this end, then it automatically will be able to select the base point. That and then the height is will be arranged on that x uh, z direction is that okay so select the target surface so the target surface will be that one that the top yeah when you click on that it should be on the top so i'm going to say 10 the u and then for on the V direction. So here, here we go. You know we have many many supports created and then just select whatever you don't want and then delete them. So this uh, is the easiest way to create support for your DWS system and then, you know, get it going as simple as that. Before what I used to do was, you know, uh, make each support personally and then one by one in that way it was like time consuming and then it was too much of work. So um, right now I don't do that. I does just do this array and then everything is, I'm done. Um, so this is how you array the supports for your rings. Thank you. Thanks for coming in.